This is a fanfare that accompanied the official launch of the Busia One Stop Border as Uganda and Kenya move to ease trade and movement of people. But a few kilometers away, communities from both countries are at each other's necks over the ownership of a wetland that is a lifeline to most residents in the area. The wetland, which supports agriculture, is dotted with lush green reeds and elephant shaped yams, emphasizing its importance to both the area's ecosystem and economy. There is a river that runs along uh, that place. It is a swampy place, and uh, that river, that small stream, uh, is uh, the, 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 the boundary. But uh, at, uh, during rainy season, uh, the river changes course, and again uh, uh, there are irrigations that uh, some people uh, also uh, try to divert the, the course of the the stream so as uh, to extend uh, the boundaries. Last year, Kenya and Uganda agreed to do a joint survey to establish and demarcate the boundary to solve the impasse. Surveyors, uh, both the Kenyan government and the Uganda government sent uh, uh, surveyors on the ground to establish where the boundaries are. Uh, as I have restrained the Ugandans from fighting, I have told them that if there is any problem, instead of fighting, they should come here and then we shall talk to our counterparts in Kenya and see how we can amicably sort out that issue. The wetland is fertile and supports agricultural activities in the area as well as being a source for rivers. The row over the wetland has seen one camp destroy crops belonging to the other. The water does not mean that it's the boundary. We made them stop. And we began the quarrel now to push them behind to show them where the right path is. Yams have been uprooted and been cut into pieces. And I think some names were mentioned to be uh, under arrest the Ugandans. Right. Being a transboundary uh, wetland, it uh, creates uh, a problem that uh, uh, the, both Uganda and Kenya uh, communities want to benefit from it. Now that rises, brings about the, uh, the conflict uh, itself. Locals and leaders from both countries want the Ugandan and Kenyan governments to intervene as the situation is threatening to get out of hand. <laughs> Currently, as I'm talking, we are staying peacefully, but actually that one is now behind the, in the hands of the two states. This is one of the boundary conflicts between Kenya and Uganda, with the ownership of Migingo Island in Lake Victoria still in dispute.